Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, and welcome to my um, first ever monthly payments video. I um, can't believe it's August already. This year's been going so quick. Like, I can't even think straight. It's that going that quick. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'd start off my channel with a monthly favourite. It's just because it's a good way to sort of understand what, what I like and like what's my personal favourites and, uh, and it's another good way to sort of get to know me. Um, I will be doing an about, uh, about me tag or a 50 facts about me video in the very near future just as like a way to introduce you to me and so that you can get to know me. Um, I didn't really want to do a sort of introduction to my channel video just because I just, I, yeah, I just didn't know what to say really because at the end of the day this is very new to me. Um, I don't know how, what sort of shape this channel is going to take. I'm just taking it d day by day and I'll see what type of content I can come up for you guys. Um, but yeah, so let's just get on with the favourites. There's quite a few things to show you. Um, some of these things will appear in a couple of videos that's coming up shortly just because they were bought when I was away in America a couple of weeks ago. So I've done a whole video for, for those so you'll get to see them again basically. I want to apologise in advance. I've got a really bad cold at the moment. Um, so if there's points where my voice goes or I can't speak properly, I do apologise like so so much. Um, so yeah, the first couple of things I've been enjoying recently has been a lot of uh, beauty and skincare. I bought a lot of things from like Sephora and things like that when I was away. So I've got a few uh, skincare things to show you. So the first... Um, beauty or skincare products I've been enjoy enjoying using uh, recently um, is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans um, Serum. So I've spent the last um, year or so trying to um, find products that work for my skin and to try and build up a um, good um, cleansing routine, one that I feel that is beneficial to my skin. And I've managed to do that um well to a certain extent there are obviously still like things that need to be fixed and things that are you know different products I want to try and stuff like that still but I've got the basis of the I know what type of products work um for my skin it's um and if you want to find out about uh, some of these products then um over the past year or so I've done several um beauty based um, blog posts um, featuring these products so you can click uh, I'll put the link to my blog in the description box and you can um, look at some of these uh, posts so uh, hopefully you'll find them uh, interesting now that I've got my cleansing routine I wanted to find a couple of products that I could use that were a little bit stronger and um, a little bit more powerful so like a treatment um, type product that um, I would maybe only use like once or twice a week so that was um, one of the reasons why I got um, the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I've seen a lot of bloggers and YouTubers talk about this and the sort of um, things that it targets was something that um, sort of attracted me to it to begin with anyway um, so it, it brightens, it exfoliates, plumps Plumps lines, even hyper hyper pigmentation, and increases circulation for instant radiance. So that is exactly what I was after. So I um, only use one pump of this. It does recommend two to three pumps, um, but I feel like my skin is—I wouldn't say my skin sensitive, but I would maybe say it's just a wee bit sensitive for this. So I do only use one. And to be honest, I still notice a big difference in my skin whenever I use this, so um, 
I do feel like my skin's a lot more glowy and it creates a nice base for my friend, like for my makeup and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's definitely worth a try. It is a bit of an expensive, um, worth a try. Um, usually retail, uh, full size product retails at eighty five pounds, I believe. Leading on then to the second product is another. Sunday Riley product and that's the uh, Luna Sleeping uh, Night Oil. Um, to be honest, I never even considered trying this. I've seen it advertised a lot and I've seen a lot of, again, a lot of good reviews on it. Uh, but it was never something that I felt like I had to go out and buy. Um, mainly because the idea of it being an oil um, scares me, uh, or scares me, um, I suppose it still kind of does. I'm a lot more restrained when I use this um, product. I don't want to use it too much. Um, my skin is combination, but if I use the wrong products or if I use too much products that my skin finds too strong, then it, my skin does tend to go a bit oily. Um, so I do only use this uh, once a week and if my skin's um, feeling a bit worse for wear and it needs a wee bit more um, care then I sometimes do it twice a week um, but this one um, targets pores mainly um, so it says it reduces pore size, improves appearance of damaged skin and helps fight wrinkles. Now I have really big pores and I also have scarring down the sides of my face from where I've had really bad acne in the past so um, that was another reason why I just decided that it, it's probably worth it a try it's probably worth a try so I'm pleasantly surprised by this product um, I don't feel like my skin's oily the next again morning um, and if it is slightly oily usually after my cleanse um, it's fine um, and when I wake up in the morning as well I find that I've got a noticeable difference in um, the areas of the skin that this is targeting um, my sort of pores around this area and my scarring down the side they don't look too visible I don't know if that's just because it's taking a lot of the colour out of it and making it more smooth looking but yeah, it's definitely worth a good, um, a worth a try. Again, this will be quite an expensive product. I'm not entirely sure exactly how much this product is. So the next things I want to show you are, um, some makeup products that I've been loving. Um, again, these were bought in America, so I have had a, a couple of months to try them out. Me, yeah, I had been looking for a really good quality, um, high end foundation. I tend to use a lot more high end foundations these days rather than drugstore foundations just because I feel like they help my skin a wee bit better um, and they don't clog up my skin as well when I go to take when I've been wearing them all day. Um, usually I um, wear the NARS Sheer Matte uh, foundation but of course they've stopped making that now. It's now um, the Illuminous um, foundation, I can't remember exactly what it's called but yeah it's in the longer frosted bottle um, but unfortunately I didn't have any in stock when I went to go and buy a new foundation so I decided to go for this one which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea uh, water foundation uh, this shade is Fair Neutral I'm also wearing that on my skin at the moment and it's just such a lovely product to work with like it's, it's so nice and um, another good thing I like about this is the drop applicator um, I just I feel like it um, means that you can like control how much product's going on your skin as well um, but it's such a lightweight foundation when it's on your skin and the coverage is I would say about a medium um, but it is a buildable uh, foundation. I found that I can build it up a wee bit more if I've got some a areas that I want to hide a wee bit more. Um, and it works well with um, other products like concealers um, and uh, contouring products. 
Um, it's just, it's just I, I love it so much and I just wish that Tarte was more readily available in the UK because I am so scared for this to run out. I've also like recommended this to loads of my friends and they've already bought some of this themselves and they're raving about it so it's yeah definitely worth a go. Another um, piece of makeup that I bought when I was away was a mascara. This is mainly probably more of a instead of a product favourite more of a brand favourite because um, I bought quite a few of the Anastasia Beverly Hills products when I was away. Um, again it's not a, a product that's easy to get in the shops like it's easy to get online but I think sometimes when it comes to makeup and it's just a wee bit better to have like to go to a shop and try these products out before you buy them mainly because of colours or um, texture quality and things like that I think there's a lot more uh, it's a lot more dangerous to go online and try and select a colour from the images on the the website because most of the times they come and they're completely different to what you see there and um, so when I was in America I knew that I wanted to try and find some Anastasia Beverly Hills counters so that I could see what the products were like so the first thing I got was the contour palette this is actually the powdered one and um, it is a really nice product to use and um, the contour um, shades are amazing and so buildable as well. I would have liked to have one of them as a shimmer, like they've got a highlight here, oh no, down here, that's got a shimmer to it. Um, I just wish they had one in these colours that had a bit of a shimmer so that you can maybe use it more of a as a bronzer rather than a contour. Um, the only thing I have to say though is that when I've used the highlighter colours they haven't come out like really pigmented on my skin. That could just be because of the colour of my skin I suppose because um, I'm really fair but I, because of that I kind of wish that I had picked up the cream one instead of the powder one and maybe that one might have worked a wee bit better for me um, but apart from that it's such a, a really nice uh, product to use. The thing that I got that I've been enjoying is the dip brow I've never really used to be someone that would like to colour their uh, eyebrows in really dark but since I've bought this I just really like the um, the finish of this product and I have been a wee bit more brave um, with my uh, eyebrows and how I fill them in so yeah this is a really nice product and I would um, I advise you to get a good um, quality angled brush um, in order to put this on because it is really pigmented and you need a really pretty like, precise um, line to your brush to get a good um, like line on your, your brows or you'll end up with black and or brown marks all over your face as I've learned from the first application of this product. <laughs> Another thing I want to include in this, um, moving away from all things beauty and makeup related, um, I just thought I would add this in. This was something that I bought this in, bought last month. Um, quite guilted, gu guiltily bought it, um, considering that this thing is related to Christmas. Um, yes, I have bought something already for Christmas. But um, I thought I would uh, include it anyway because um, as you will see and if you've been following my blog um, you'll know that there's a lot of Disney related things at the moment because of my trip. Um, so I thought I would just kind of include that a little bit of Disney magic in this favourites video by showing you this. Um, this um, is one of the new Christmas decorations for the Disney store um, in the UK. This wasn't bought in America, this was bought in the UK. Um, I really um, wanted this one. Um, it's just like Hunchback of Notre Dame is my favourite all-time Disney movie. 
Um, and when you see my Disney haul, you'll understand why I had to buy this. So I won't go too much into it. Um, it's just really, really nice, and it's got a lot of detail into it as well because it's got some birds on the back here. It's a three D. Oh. <laughs> yep. Cosimodo has run away. Um, yeah, I knew this was broken. I just need to fix it with some super glue. Um, but yeah, so these were, this was um, 11 Um, and they've got a huge range, who, who, a huge range of them at the moment on their website um, from all different movies like Peter Pan, Beauty and the Beast, um, the Lion King, things like that, uh, up there already. So it's always it's worth having you put a link to the uh, Christmas ornament uh, page so that you can have a wee quick look, um, quick flick through yourself. Um, so moving on to the next thing, um, I have a few books to show you. There's been a trilogy of books that I've been enjoying recently. The trilogy wasn't all bought uh, last month. The last book in the trilogy was bought last month, um, which is the conclusion to the Dimension I Love You series. Um, if you haven't heard of this series, um, it's amazing. Um, uh, it's definitely very, very romance-based. Um, the storyline for some people they may find that a bit strange because basically it follows a girl called Eden who falls in love with her stepbrother Tyler um, who she's never met before she goes to um, Santa, Monica, Santa Monica for summer one year to stay with her dad where she meets her dad's new um, family and she meets her stepbrothers for the first time and falls in love with her oldest stepbrother um, so yeah, that storyline can kind of maybe throw you off right from the start, but it's actually pretty good. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure there's maybe a few people out there in the world that it's happened to them. Um, so this is the third book, and that's uh, Did I Mention I Miss You? And Estelle, who wrote these as well, she's only seven, I think she's 18 now, but when she was uh, signed up to do these books, she was only 17. And she originally wrote the books when she was 13, but when she got uh, signed up, signed up again to do them, uh, when she got signed to our book contract, uh, she rewrote them uh, to be released, uh, published uh, in book form. Um, so, so this is did I mention I love you, and this is did I mention I need you. Um, this is book one and book two. Another book I've been loving at the moment is Tanya Burr's uh, Tanya Bakes book. Um, I previously had, uh, previous, I've got um, Tanya's Love Tanya book um, and loved the recipes and that so when I heard that she was bringing this out I just quit, I went and pre-ordered it and there's some amazing recipes in here. I've made a few already. Um, I've made the Terry's Chocolate Orange Cheesecake which turned out amazing. Um, I'll definitely be making that one again at some point. Um, and I also made the Nutella cookies. They ones didn't turn out quite so well, but I think that was my fault. I think I put too much um, salt in them <coughs> because they're salty Nutella cookies, not because I accidentally put salt in them and it's like sugar or something like that. <laughs> um, but there's every single recipe in this book I want to make, so. Um, I suppose that's kind of the bad decision about buying this book is that you'll constantly be baking. I also got a signed copy. I um, don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, it's such a lovely book um, and definitely a really nice book even to have on your bookshelf so that one day when you do need to do some baking you've got some easy recipes that you can do at home from this book. Um, if you go onto my blog or anything after watching this, you'll realise that I do talk a lot about movies and TV shows and uh, Netflix recommendations that I've been really enjoying. So I thought I would share um, some of my favourite movies or TV shows that I've been enjoying over the past month. So 
The first one is on Netflix and that is The Gilmore Girls. I love The Gilmore Girls. The Gilmore Girls was like the show that I couldn't wait to get home from school to watch. Um, uh, but the thing was like the channel that showed it would never show it in order so you would get random episodes like what they do with Friends. Um, so it's really good now that Netflix has got it so I'm able to watch it in order and know exactly what happened and when it happened and how it was supposed to happen and blah de blah. Um, but yeah I'm so excited for the new series to come out. Um, I've seen the trailer for it, well the teaser for it um, and can't wait to see more um, trailers and things coming out to keep us on edge. Um, I really hope so that this does maybe spark a new um, full length series. Um, I, I am looking forward to seeing the f four uh, feature length ones and I, I quite like how they're doing it based on each season of the year. But yeah, I mean they have kind of hinted at the fact that if it is popular and it kind of shows them that there's still an interest for the show that they might possibly possibly do another full series uh, for Netflix so um, I've got my fingers crossed that that happens. Um, so yeah that's on Netflix um, in the UK um, now. Um, I think it's been on the US Netflix for quite a while now um, but it's got all seven series, all of them, every single episode uh, right up until the last one. So. If you want to get your fix of Gilmore Girls, you know where to go for that. In terms of in movies that I've seen in the cinema, um, one of my favourites from last month was Star Trek Beyond. Um, it was, I think, one of the only, only, only movies I saw last month, but it was a really good movie anyway, and I really liked it. Um, and I quite liked as well that we had a sort of kick-ass um, girl in it this time um usually we've only really sort of had Zoe Zalada Saldana um as the sort of only sort of main female lead um so yeah we've got a I can't remember what the character was called which is great you know when I've tried to sell the movie to you to go and see it because it is worth going to see and I can't even remember the characters names uh well the new characters names um but yeah, it was definitely a quick, uh, a quick, no. it was definitely a, um, a gripping storyline and I almost like, when I was watching it, I completely forgot who was playing the, the villain um, because the, they don't make it obvious to you um, and then it was until the end you sort of see the actor's face and you think, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Enjoy my first monthly favourites video for July. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> um, and I shall see you next time um, probably with my Disney haul video. So, and I'll see you next time. Bye! So this is did I mention I love you and did I mention I need you and um, they're really great. Um, this one. That's sweet, Stephanie.